to the now. You're just in time for the second half of this show. Seems protesters are staging daily rallies outside Colorado Senator Cory Gardner's offices here in Colorado, including today. Yeah, here's some video of that. And right now, the we're hearing from the Republican Senator and Denver 7's Mark Stewart joins us now with more about their conversation. Talked about a number of issues, including the fact that he claims special interest groups are behind the uptick in calls to his office, not just from Colorado voters. And he is clearly blaming the Democrats for stalling those cabinet nominations. In this last election, this is a state that went Democratic. Yet thus far, you have voted 100 percent with Donald Trump. What do you owe to your constituents who aren't perhaps in line with you yet are in many ways, a significant part of our population. Well, I think the same question should be asked of uh, Democrats in the past. Have they voted against Barack Obama's nominees? Did they vote against President Clinton's nominees? Uh, so far, all that we've been allowed to do, thanks to unprecedented levels of obstruction, is try to do the basic job of filling out a cabinet for this president. So you think the slowdown is because of politics, not because of legitimate questions and concerns about the caliber of some of these nominees? This is unprecedented levels of, uh, of, of political obstruction in the Senate. Of course, the big news of the day is the resignation of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. We asked Senator Gardner if there should be a criminal investigation. His response when you join us for Denver 7 at 5.